good morning. Day 35 of my bib, southbound bib walk. I just got a lift back to the track. This is uh, it's Wilson Inlet. I'm about to have wet feet for the next hour and a half as I walk on the side of that. Um, so yeah, you can see the weather behind me. It's not great, so I'm going to get a shower passing through. But overall, the forecast doesn't look too bad for the next for the next few days in Albany. We'll see how we go. Could be famous last words. Um, this inlet they're going to open up in a couple of weeks, so I'm just sneaking through now. Um, another couple of weeks of your long road walk. We'll catch a boat across. All right, I'll uh, I'll get walking. Um, video into something circus. And that is the end of my dry feet for the day. And that will sort out the rest of me when that rainstorm hits. I reckon. So the plan today is to walk around. Wilson Inlet, which I'm into now, um, and then head to Nalakai Shelter for lunch, and then in the afternoon, head across to um, West Cape Howe Shelter, uh, where I'll spend the night. I'm hoping that the worst of the water will just be this Wilson Inlet bit the first couple of hours this morning since I um, I left the road but we'll see So um, this, this section of flooded track is actually getting close to knee deep. Oh, no, it's actually getting over knee deep. Oh, fuck, it's cold too. I do like these paperback areas. So I've just got some rain coming through again. Pretty lucky so far, I haven't had to pull the Gore-Tex on. Well, I might have to pull it on because it's cold though soon. It looks pretty um, pretty good over there though, which is where it's coming from, so it's not too bad. Slowly getting around this inlet. So this is the um, the jetty that you get to if you can organise a boat trip across from Denmark from the caravan park, the Rivermouth Caravan Park. So I'm about I don't know 300 metres from the jetty and uh, found this tank. So, and a little garden shed. I reckon there might be a few snakes living around here though, but the tank could be handy. Got another five Ks of this shit before I get away from this inlet. Okay, I guess I press this green button. 
Oh, there is a gate there. Let's see what happens when I press this. Okay, that works. There is a gate in the gate that I just noticed. Uh, looks like I'm heading back down to water level. Just saw my first tiger snake for the day before too. I was in the water. He was kind of half in the water. Okay, so I've left um, Wilson Inlet now, and I'm heading across the peninsula back towards the coast. But I'll, first of all, I'm um, before I see the ocean again, I'll uh, reach Nullakai Shelter, and it will be lunchtime. I'm guessing this is a fence. It's a substantial fence I'm following. I'm guessing it's a. Um, like a conservation reserve or something. So I'm at Nullakai Shelter. There's a lookout here. Uh, to be honest with you. Probably not worth it. There's not a lot to see. Um, but yeah, there's someone at the hut, so at the shelter, so I don't know if I can video much down there. Uh, all right, but I'm pretty well. I've had some lunch. I've had a drink. I'm gonna um, head off towards West Cape Howe now. I've got about 16 k's. Hopefully a drier track than I had this morning. We'll see how we go. I don't know if you can see the green roof of the hut down there, or the shelter. I suppose the lookout might be your best chance for some decent um, cell service though, if you wanna get a message out or something. Okay, lunch has been consumed. I'm off to West Cape Howe now. Gonna be a lot of dunes this afternoon, I think, but there should be some coastal views, I think. my way around this morning. So it hasn't just been Banksy's today. Started seeing a lot of wildflowers today. First day that I really, really um, started to notice them. So apart from a few sprinkles of rain this morning, it's been a, a, a fine day on the trail today. I'll do the maths at one stage, but I reckon off the top of my head, I've only probably had four days or five days it hasn't rained on me. Okay, I'm heading for uh, West Cape Howe now, about uh, two and a half k's from the, the shelter. I just managed to um, face plant before. First fall of the trip was a good one too. Um, I'm not sure if this is why, but I've had an equipment malfunction today. 
I'll show you, hang on. I don't know if you can see the bottom of my pole there. So the whole tungs and tip basket has fallen off it and gone. Anyway, so I face planted and I fucking tweaked my calf and my ankle on my right foot, on my right leg. So I'm walking on it at the moment, hoping it's going to come better. I mean, it'll be right. I'll manage it, but not ideal. Anyway, I'm almost there, a couple of k's to go. I'll get some, I suppose I'll pump some ibuprofen in and um, hopefully it settles down a bit overnight. Uh, I'll get going. That's not too shabby. Just saw my fourth snake for the day. Two tigers and two dugouts. Thankfully they were intent on getting out of my way. So no photos, but that's a fairly good, that's a fairly good outcome, I think. So I'm at West Cape Howe. I'm just sharing with her another person um, there's a lookout up there I'm gonna go up to in a minute once I've cooked tea it's my kind of setup over in the corner there so far the mozzies aren't too bad so we'll see how we go and the winds coming from behind the shelter so it's not too bad so this is the view from near the hut Uh, day 35 on the bib done and dusted I'm at West Cape Howe shelter there's a couple of people down at the shelter so I'm up at the kind of picnic table the sun's gone down a bit of, bit of rain about but nothing to worry about um, so my trekking pole um, broke that I've been using for the whole three walks and I, I used them on Northern Territory trip last year so the tip disappeared where it went but um so it's got no tungsten tip and the basket's gone so i mean it still kind of works rough enough it'll get me through for two days um and can we just have um, i had my first fall of the trip today and tweaked my right calf and my right ankle pretty badly so i'm gonna have to manage that so anyway it is what it is i've only got two days to go um the guy one of the guys well the guy that just turned up recently he's come from where i'm going tomorrow and he's gone through that inlet and he said it was about waist deep so I should be able to get through there okay um, all right I'm gonna head back oh I did about just under 40 k's and oh, about 600 meters climb today so it was a solid day tomorrow will be about the same I guess hopefully my leg holds out all right I will catch you in the morning take it easy